on ABC. It's at home in the valley, a warehouse full of rugs. Too many rugs, way too many rugs. It's time for a sale. Save on thousands of rugs in stock. Take one home today. Modern, traditional, shag, solids, and textures, all at low, low prices. Roll runners for stairs and hallways, any length you need. Since 1979, at home in the valley, 16531 Satakoy Street, Van Nuys, 818-780-4663. Online at athomeinthevalley.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been diagnosed with mesothelioma, call us now. $30 billion was set aside for mesothelioma victims. And in most cases, your claim is settled out of court without a jury trial. Morgan & Morgan for the people. GIA Diamonds, lowest prices ever. The Jewelry Exchange has natural one-carat GIAs just $19.90. Custom mounts are just $4.99. Carat $50, Two carat $59.90. Thousands of diamonds guaranteed the lowest price. The Jewelry Exchange, Tustin. Now at five, Mexico is on the verge of history as the nation is poised to elect its first female president. Overnight, a wind-driven brush fire continues to grow out of control to our north in San Joaquin County, forcing evacuations and major freeway closures. And Pride Month is in full swing. The festivities underway in West Hollywood as the annual WeHo Pride Parade kicks off this afternoon. Now, Southern California's news leader, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Well, that looked like a party, but those people are still awake, maybe. Oh, Half of that. them, right? <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone, to 5 a.m. on your Sunday. I'm Mark Cotarobles. And I'm Irene Cruz. We're hoping you're having a fantastic weekend. We have Brianna in for Tony this morning. Good morning, Brianna. How's our weather looking for today? Good morning. A little more June gloom today. I know some of the inland spots finally got to see the sun yesterday, but we had cloud cover last for quite some time. And today is going to be similar. We actually might even get just slightly cooler compared to yesterday as well. So uh, just a little heads up that it might be just a tad cooler and also another chance of some drizzle this morning. Uh, this is a live look from downtown LA. You can see some clouds that are out into the distance here. And then as we take you out into this afternoon, temperatures are going to be on the cooler side down to just about 67 degrees for downtown LA today. Inland Orange County down to 70. And then the Valley is in the Little Empire might still reach 80 for some spots, but mostly we're probably going to be seeing a lot of 70s today. The beach is right around 67, the mountains 74 mild. And then as we take you out to the high desert, it will be slightly cooler there today, still dealing with some winds right around 20 miles per hour. Gusts higher than that, though, and 88 degrees is the high temperature for today. We have some heat to talk about this week and might even have uh, some heat advisories be issued for some spots. So not the typical for all first week of June, but definitely the first uh, few days are typical of June gloom. Irene, Mark, I'll send it back to you. OK, Brianna, thank you. New this morning, police are investigating a deadly shooting in downtown L.A. It happened just after midnight at the intersection of Maple Avenue and 12th Street. A car carrying three people was waiting at the traffic light. Police say a gunman pulled up next to them, reached up from the sunroof and opened fire. All three were hit. One died at the hospital. The other two are in critical and stable condition. The victims are believed to be between 17 and 20 years old. No arrests were made. In the coming hours, voters will be heading to the polls in the largest elections in Mexico's history. More than 20,000 positions are on the ballot nationwide, while public safety is a top issue. And history could be made as Mexicans are likely to elect their first female president. Mexicans around the world, including here in Southern California, will be casting votes online and in person. Eyewitness News reporter Annabel Munoz has more. This election is going to be the most historic of all. The two leading candidates in Mexico's presidential election are women, Claudia Sheinbaum, backed by President Andrés Manuel López Obrador, and the opposition candidate Xochitl Galvez. The third candidate is Jorge Álvarez Maynes. This will be the first year eligible Mexican citizens can vote in a presidential election in person outside of Mexico. We are really happy that more people is getting involved in the Mexican democracy. The nonprofit Council of Mexican Federations, COFEM, helped lead efforts to give Mexicans living abroad the right to vote. 
Before it was granted in 2006, GoFem drove voters to Tijuana and back. The growth has been exponential. Now Mexicans abroad can vote online, by mail, or in person. Mexico's National Electoral Institute, or INE, says voter turnout outside of Mexico has increased from roughly 32,000 in the 2006 presidential election to its estimate.